Welcome to On the Inside. In this video, we'll delve into the gripping events of Secret Invasion Episode 3, titled Betrayed. The halfway point of this thrilling series has brought us closer to uncovering the secrets behind the Skrull Rebellion's plan. Join us as we analyze the shocking ending, the mysterious phone call to Fury's wife, and the shocking death of a key character. Get ready to have your mind blown. That will leave you saying, what the heck just happened? Let's dive right in. Secret Invasion Episode 3 Ending Explained In the latest episode of Secret Invasion, released on Disney Plus on July 5, 2023, Samuel L. Jackson shines as Nick Fury, the former S.H.I.E.L.D. director returning to Earth to face a faction of rebellious scrolls. As the series reaches its midpoint with Episode 3, we gain deeper insights into Fury's personal relationships, Talos' activities on Earth since Captain Marvel, and Gravik's true intentions in evolving the scrolls into superpowered beings. But wait, let's rewind for a moment. Remember 1998? Fury strolls into a diner to meet a scroll buddy who turns out to be none other than Priscilla. Um, Vara. Cue the flashback romance and a cup of joe. Fast forward to the present, and Fury is back home, cooking breakfast while watching a TV pundit who's secretly part of the Scroll Council. Nothing like a little morning news with a side of suspicion, am I right? As Fury and Priscilla engage in a seemingly innocent conversation, hidden agendas start creeping out of the woodwork. Fury, ever the detective, probes Priscilla about her connection to Gravik, suspecting her involvement in the rebellion. It turns out these two have a complicated history, surviving the snap and blip while navigating a long-distance relationship. But now, Fury's back and seeking revenge like a retired spy with a newfound hobby. Revenge is all the rage these days. Each episode of Secret Invasion has left us on the edge of our seats with a tantalizing cliffhanger. Episode 1, Resurrection, featured the death of Maria Hill, while Episode 2, Promises, revealed that Nick Fury is married to a scroll named Vera. Episode 3 follows suit, shedding more light on Gravik's plans for Super Scrolls and the intricate web of betrayals. It's time to unravel the mysteries that unfold in the ending of Secret Invasion Episode 3. The intriguing phone call to Fury's wife? Who was it? In episode 2, Charlene Woodard debuts as Vara, known as Priscilla Fury, Fury's wife. In episode 3, their relationship is further explored, highlighting Priscilla's struggle with Fury's prolonged absences following his disappearance during Thanos' snap and subsequent work on Saber. Priscilla receives mysterious phone calls from an unidentified caller, and one such call takes place in the final moments of Episode 3, while she retrieves a gun from a safe deposit box. Although the identity of the caller remains unknown, referred to as Man on Phone in the subtitles, there are a few potential candidates. The most likely option is Pagon, a high-ranking member of the Skrull Resistance portrayed by Killian Scott, Pagan holds significant authority within the Rebellion, making him capable of denying Priscilla's request to speak with Gravik and serving as a proxy instead. Priscilla's connection to Gravik, established in Episode 2, suggests Pagan's involvement. A more daring theory suggests that James Rhodey Rhodes, also known as War Machine, could be the one calling Priscilla. Dunn Chettle reprises his role in Secret Invasion, but Rhodey appears to be more involved in political affairs rather than superheroic exploits. Speculation arises that Rhodey may be a scroll infiltrating the Avengers, which would establish a connection to Priscilla and Gravik. Rhodey's previous encounter with Fury in Episode 2 adds weight to this theory, although it remains unconfirmed. Why Fury's wife is betraying him? If it turns out that Priscilla was conversing with a member of the Skrull Rebellion, as seems increasingly likely, the question arises, why would she betray her husband and his mission to save humanity? Episode 3 provides some answers as Fury questions Talos about his involvement in stopping the Rebellion, despite his belief in Gravik's cause. This line of inquiry applies equally to Priscilla and potentially all Skrulls living on Earth. Fury's prolonged absences during the blip and his subsequent voluntary absence to work on Saber may have exacerbated Priscilla's feelings of anger and loneliness, pushing her further into the arms of the Skrull Resistance. During their emotional exchange, Priscilla expresses her deep resentment towards Fury for leaving Earth once again after his return in Avengers Endgame. She declares that she has embraced her true self during his absence. Additionally, Fury probes Priscilla about her contact with Gravik, hinting at a possible deeper connection between the trio. 
A popular theory circulating among fans suggests that Gravik is the adopted son of Nick Fury and Priscilla, taken in by the couple sometime after 1997. If true, Priscilla may feel a stronger bond with Gravik, her scroll son, and his cause than with Fury as her human husband. Of course, it's also plausible that Priscilla has been coerced or manipulated by the Skrull Rebellion into betraying Fury against her will. As a Skrull, it is likely that high-ranking members of the Rebellion, including Gravik, are aware of Priscilla's marriage to Nick Fury, exploiting this connection to weaken their primary adversary, compromising Priscilla and forcing her betrayal, could be a strategic move by the Rebellion to undermine Fury and sow doubt in their relationship. The truth behind Priscilla's actions and her loyalty will undoubtedly be unveiled in Secret Invasion Episode 4. Why Secret Invasion just killed off Gaia? In a truly unexpected twist, Secret Invasion Episode 3 concludes with the shocking death of Gaia, Talos' daughter, and a member of the Skrull Rebellion. Emilia Clark makes her debut as Gaia in Episode 1, depicting her strained relationship with her father due to the failure of Nick Fury and Carol Danvers to relocate the Skrull population and the tragic loss of her mother, Soren. Despite their family troubles, Gaia operates within the ranks of the Skrull Resistance, clandestinely feeding information to the opposing team. During Episode 3, Gaia informs Fury and Talos about an imminent nuclear strike planned by a British submarine targeting a United Nations plan. This destructive act could have ignited global chaos and potentially sparked World War III. Thanks to Gaia's assistance, Talos and Fury successfully prevent the strike. However, this revelation exposes Gaia as a double agent, leading to a face-to-face -face confrontation with Gravik as she attempts to flee. As he had previously warned Talos, Gravik shoots Gaia, seemingly ending her life. Her transformation back into her scroll form confirms her demise, as scrolls revert to their original state upon death. Yet there may be more to Gaia's story within the MCU. It's possible that Gaia could have faked her death in order to escape from Gravik's clutches, although she would likely remain severely wounded from the gunshot to her chest. Alternatively, Gaia might be resurrected, possibly through Gravik's Super Squirrel experiments, which were unveiled in Episode 3. If Gaia's death is indeed final, her death will undoubtedly ignite a burning desire for revenge within Talos. Having already demonstrated a fraction of his strength, Talos could prove to be a formidable adversary to Gravik and the Squirrel Rebellion when fueled by vengeance. That wraps up our analysis of the thrilling events in Secret Invasion Episode 3, Betrayed. The revelation of a mysterious phone call to Fury's wife and the unexpected death of Gaia have intensified the intrigue and suspense of this series. As we eagerly await the next episode, it remains to be seen how these shocking developments will impact the future of the Secret Invasion storyline. Join us next time as we try to untangle the web of deception and navigate the treacherous world of shape-shifting scrolls. So, fellow curious souls, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because we've got a front row seat to all the mind-blowing revelations coming your way. On the inside is your backstage pass to the hidden gems and jaw-dropping plot twists of your favorite shows and movies. Remember, in this game of trust, the stakes are high, the surprises are aplenty, and no one is who they seem. Until then, keep your eyes peeled and your knives hidden. You never know who might be watching. Stay vigilant and stay on the inside.